Hey, uh, so I'm over here at Tiger Kingdom. Oh God, what's he doing? Um, in the Mayrim district uh, by Chiang Mai. And um, it's pretty cool. You come in here and um, get to walk around. They have different sized tigers. They have little babies, then kind of uh, little kid tigers, teenager tigers, and then uh, the really, really big ones, which are still really young. Everyone is under two years old. Um, but you can go in and actually touch the tigers, which um, I was trying to eat me. <laughs> It's pretty incredible, like, to, to see a lion or a tiger or something is just incredible as it is because it's just this enormous cat, um, but to actually go in and touch them is, uh, is pretty amazing. Um, they, they feel like a couch or something, they're just incredibly big. Um, but two years ago when uh, we were out here in Chiang Mai and I was getting ready for my second fight in Thailand, third fight altogether, um, we went and saw the elephants. There's this really incredible experience of being around just an immense animal that has incredible power and kind of, um, I guess, a, a spirit of an animal that uh, becomes a quality that you can aim for in fighting or as a person or something like that. The elephants were really strong in that sense, and so we thought that maybe coming to see the tigers would be like another um, experience like that. I'm fighting tomorrow, uh, 28th fight, so been a while, <laughs> um, and it. It totally is something that um, experiencing the energy of that animal and how crazy powerful it is just in its actual being, like lying there sleeping and it's incredibly powerful is, is pretty cool. Um, I'm excited about tomorrow's fight. Um, this is uh, one week after my last fight, uh, which is a pretty fast turnover. It actually doesn't feel as fast as it literally is. Um, but. It's exciting on a number of levels. For one, I've said this before, I'm fighting on my birthday, which I've never done before. Um, and it's uh, it's definitely a good way to celebrate. Uh, fight number 28, that's well beyond what I ever thought I would be doing. And uh, I don't know, it's just awesome being in Thailand, training all the time, fighting as often as I am, uh, growing as fast as I am, and just really, really enjoying this opportunity. And um, Every little thing feels like, you know, it's it's um, it's small progress, but it's also rapid progress all at the same time. Uh, so, yeah, I'm gonna go home after this. Um, feel about how cool it is to have gone to see tigers. <laughs> then we're going to the fights tonight, and then tomorrow's fight day. Um, so yeah, maybe a little bit of shadow boxing or something tomorrow. But uh, my training's pretty much done, so just gotta go do the thing. And. Uh, Oh my god. <laughs> I just have to tell this story before I'm done. We went over to see the little tigers. Like, they're not babies, but they're little. They're, they're pretty much babies, but they're not, like, rolling around in their own fat. Um, and they're cute, whatever. They're kind of a little bit frisky. There's one that's a little troublemaker. There's this little, like, three-year-old girl outside of the fence. Children aren't allowed in. Um, and it was like, it's right outside of the fence and this little girl sitting on the ground and all of the, all of the little tigers start doing that like kitten thing where they're like getting all low and trying to stalk her. <laughs> like every single cat in that enclosure, it must have been like five cats all went over to the, uh, to the fence to try to stalk this little girl who was completely oblivious to the situation. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, note to self, don't be around a bunch of tigers as a tiny girl in the jungle. <laughs> oh my god. All right. Yeah. These guys are fighting over nothing. And now they're tired. All right. <laughs> Talk to you guys later. Bye.